Is this the best glamping TV ever invented? We are gonna find out today. This is the LG Stand By Me Go 27 inch portable TV. This is a 1080p Wi-Fi enabled TV in a suitcase. And we are gonna open this bad boy right now. When you first open the box, you have what's essentially the quick start guide on top, a power cord, and a bag of things including a Velcro strip, batteries for the remote, the remote itself, and instructions and information about about the TV. Inside the box it is surrounded by thick heavy styrofoam. Remove the top piece and you can pull the suitcase right out. Remove the plastic bag and this thing is beautiful. The TV is inside a decorative hard shell case with the name embossed on the upper right. The back has four soft rubber feet about the size of a nickel. The top has two latches, a handle, and what appears to be the receiver for the remote. The handle lies down flat on the top until you're ready to carry it. Then you can pull it up and put your hand right inside. And I will tell you right from the get-go. I don't know what this case is made of, but this thing is heavy. I know we're talking about a TV here, but opening this thing for the first time, it is absolutely gorgeous from every angle. They did not skimp on this protective case at all. It is 100% solid. The screen sits perfectly in place. It pulls out smooth as butter, and you can adjust it in several different angles, including horizontal and vertical. There's a space to store your remote, extra batteries, the power cord, and when you're finished, it closes right Right back up into this case that Brinks would be happy to carry money in. I'm telling you, this thing is amazing and we haven't even turned it on yet. Wow, so after I unboxed this, I brought it in the house and plugged it in so I could learn a little bit more about it. And let me tell you, this thing is amazing. So first of all, on the bottom, there are these two small doors. This one right here is for the power cord. And this one right here has a power button for the battery use a USB, an HDMI, and whatever that little thing is. IR Blaster. I honestly don't know anything about that. I'm not gonna pretend I do, because I don't. We also have four soft rubber feet on the bottom here. Those hold it steady and keep it from sliding around. And this is a battery indicator on here. When it's red, it's charging. When it's green, it's fully charged. That's right, there is an internal battery that allows you to use this without it being plugged in for three hours. And I've seen in some other videos where it will actually last up to five hours depending on how you're using it. Of course, if you have it plugged in, it's gonna last forever. When you have it opened up, there is actually an indicator up here that tells you how much of your battery you have left. As long as you have it plugged in, it is charging. So if you're using the TV, it's charging. If you're not using the TV, it's charging. If we lay this down, this back here is the speaker and it sounds great. Usually when there's a speaker under mesh, you you can run your hand along it and you can feel the edges of the actual speaker. I don't feel that at all. But when you're listening to music or watching a video, that is where the sound is coming from. So let's pull this back up here for a minute. As you can see, it's just like a regular TV you have in your own home, but it's also touch screen. You can use the remote or you can just use your fingers. And just like the TV you have in your own living room, this has tons of apps and games and channels. We've got Netflix, Prime Video, Hulu, Sling, YouTube, Disney. We've got games on here. We've got other kinds of apps from Nickelodeon and Alexa. There's even a web browser on here. You can go on the internet. We've got the time up here. We've got the temperature. Now when you first set this up, you have to go through a process where you're putting in your own personal information. You're agreeing to some things and then you're connecting to your own internet. It takes five, ten minutes. But once you're done with that, you're free to explore, and this thing is so awesome. Look at this. We can open up Netflix right here, and there it is. You can start flipping through, choose something to watch. Can't find something, you can get out of there. Let's go on over to Tubi. I haven't signed into that one yet. <laughs> but like I said, you got everything on here. We got Max, we got Apple TV, any kind of app you want to download. If we go over here, they have all these awesome little things here like screensavers. You can turn on a fireplace and it will crackle. You can put on an ocean sunset. Morning sunshine. Under the sea. And this is the one I really like. Cozy cabin in the snow. Look at that, so cool. <laughs> You've also got weather over here. Sunny, 80 degrees. We've got a clock we can turn on. We've got wallpapers. And this is probably my favorite feature of the entire thing. You have a turntable you can put on. Connect your own phone, turn on your own music, 
and it will play just like it's playing a record. Now the owner's manual does say that it takes three hours to fully charge, but this has only been plugged in for a little over an hour. It started at zero, and we're already at 74%. Now I personally haven't found anything with this that I have any complaints about. What I'm gonna be using it for, it seems like it's gonna serve the purpose. We're gonna be taking it camping. Wait a minute glamping. Wait till you see the tent we just bought. We're going to use this in the RV. I'll probably take it out on the back deck if I want to watch a movie around the fire pit. Anywhere else that I might decide I want to take this to watch TV that doesn't already have a TV, I can. Now I will say it's a little pricey. I can't really give you a price right now because it changes every single day, especially on Amazon where I just bought it. I bought this yesterday and when I looked on Amazon today right after I received this, they had already dropped the price by $300. They do not price match and they have a no post purchase adjustment policy but I got them on the phone today and since it's been less than 24 hours that I bought it and I called it a partial refund request they're gonna send me $200 back so that was very cool of Amazon if you want to check it out for yourself I will have a link below otherwise if you're asking me if you should buy this for your glamping adventures the answer is yes